Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Council Plays The Binding of Isaac Wrath of the Lamb Edition version 1.48. Um, as you can see from the title screen, we do uh, have the uh, It Lives achievement, which means we have unlocked a harder version of the Mom's Heart boss fight. So uh, without further ado, let's get in there and try to kill it. We'll uh, play as Kane, who's probably the strongest character, him or Maggie. Um, defeating, uh, defeating It Lives will give us access to a hidden new character. So... That'll be good, right? I mean, it, it'll be good, of course, but... What? So we get the flat penny right away, which gives us... Keys. Flat penny gives keys, I think. There's like a burnt penny, flat penny, counterfeit penny. And I think it gives us... It'll give us keys when we pick up money, I think that's how it works. So we got two bombs to start off with, as well as two keys. Um, the wafer! Nice, so we now take half a heart of damage from everything. That's cool. Uh, with two keys, one of these should be... One of these rooms is, uh... Is it this one? No. So that means that the other room is going to be a... Yeah. I will get Bookable out here. Better than Anarchist Cookbook, but we'll switch it out. So we have a really good space bar item now. But the wafer is an okay item to pick up off off the first item, or off the first uh, item room. One uh, cool thing is if you get the nun's habit with anything that produces health, um, a la the, un the uh, yum heart, uh, the nail, uh, anything like that, you can actually have permanent invincibility forever. So that could be kind of interesting. So uh, we're basically playing as Judas with an extra heart uh, right now. I'll go ahead and keep fighting through here. Forward and back. I almost took the numbers there. I've been silly. So basement part one is what we are on here. Not that we couldn't see it due to the stupid curse of darkness or whatever it is that we have on. Oh, he's a bit sideways. Talking about both sides of his mouth, as it were. <laughs> and the coat hanger. So, um coating which we've seen pretty much in every room or every run for the past like I don't know, every I don't know, forever it's been it's been quite quite a, a common occurrence is what I'm trying to throw out there um, probably not a safe spot to be so yeah the wafer is gonna be not so useful now it becomes increasingly useful as we go on like when we hit the womb uh, utero because we only take ha we'll only take uh, the normal half heart from those enemies as opposed to the, as opposed to the full heart that we would be taking otherwise. So we'll come through here, grab a bomb, blow up the spirit or the tinted rock, get two spirit hearts out of it, and uh, try to find the oh we have no keys though. Try to find the item room and hopefully a key as soon as possible. Uh, hopefully Book of Blyle, ooh, well, another Tinted Rocks will be able to, oh no, we have one more bomb. Uh, another bomb, so we get a Spirit Heart for nothing here. It's a good trade. And, uh, so we're almost at the boss room. Found the shop, but, oh, can't believe I took damage there. Fight this floating head gun. And come on, key! So much money. Okay, well, thankfully Flat Penny did finally start paying out. So we will be able to, when we find the item room, pick something up from it. Ah! God. I had such a good spree of no taking damage, and now I'm starting to fall apart here. And another key, so we are more than fine as far as keys are concerned. Um, it's floating heads, take them out. I might be down for, uh,. A tail at this point because we have the flat penny if we got guppy's tail we could probably combo that into a lot of free keys and a lot of other things so kind of hoping for that we have ghost baby decent familiar it is able to shoot through rocks and such we'll use a, a key here maybe yep key pops up so we're gonna we're gonna be absolutely fine on keys for pretty much the duration of the run if everything keeps going according to plan Open this up. Rusty key gives us more keys, but we already have a key finding trinket. I don't think we need another one. So 
So we'll just try to... Yeah, well, actually, what we can do is we can use Ghost Baby to shoot through the rocks and hit it from out of range, so... I should be using my familiar to my full advantage. Let's see if we need Ghost Baby to do it here. Yep. And we'll get a Strength card, so that's a decent card to have. And uh, not enough money to go to the shop yet. Although that could change in an instant. And uh, secret room, we have three bombs. We should try the two locations I think they might be at. And we found it on our first try. And a lot of money and a lot of keys. So we will check out the shop with our 26 cents. So a pretty good start so far. Um, treasure map, sure. I wish we would have been able to get the coin purse in the beginning of the, or the first shop because that would have given us a good start considering... I am playing as uh, Pills McGee, so we will play fighting Duke of Flies. With, uh, we do have a... We'll open up this and it'll be absolutely no problem. We'll be able to one or two shot all the flies he puts out. So this is the kind of Duke of Flies I like. The really easy kind to beat. And a few more shots and he should be dead. Shouldn't have too much problems clearing out his uh, leftover fly wave here. Oh, and we did get it anyway, so these are all good pills. Hope for something really good on this, since there is two of them. Pretty flies, so two pretty flies. That's good. Telepills. Not really what I wanted, but that's okay. Hopefully we'll still have a shot at that devil room. Nope, it is closed. So, unfortunately, this last pill is going to be friends to the end. So we got, uh... Not as good as I thought we did end up getting a halo of flies out of that. Though, so, and we will check out... Is that Book of Revelations? It is. Sure. Book of Revelations uh, as early as possible. So now, if we get the nun's habit, we will be unkillable. Is how that's going to work. So we could have literally a run where we cannot die. Which would be kind of cool. We could do anything that we wanted. We just need to get the nun's habit. And check out this room. Yeah, if we got the nun's habit, we could, yeah, do. Yeah, because basically we can only take, we can only take at max half a uh, spirit heart or half a heart in damage because of the wafer. Um, Book of Revelations gives us uh, a full spirit heart every time we use it, and nun's habit refresh, uh, refreshes every two hits. Meaning that we would be literally invincible. Every time we lost two spirit hearts, as long as we used Book of Revelations, we would be fine. So, interesting combo we've got going on here, if we can only finish it. Um, luckily our flies stopped that damage from happening, because I really should have been hit there. Just gotta hope for... Uh, Shops, I guess. And we'll be moving along here. Okay. Go ahead and check out our item room. We get uh, the virus, which is poison touch, which would work really well if we could get the invincibility. We'll check out the SC room. Hopefully, get not that. We'll blow it up. Actually, we maybe shouldn't have. Considering we are not at as good of money as we could be right now. We'll be able to find the first of all the secret rooms every floor though. Because of uh because of the map, so that's good. But these guys aren't really spitting at me, which is fine, I'd rather they just zombie walk at me. Life bomb, don't really care about that. Go ahead and open this since we have so many keys, and yep. Yeah, if we could if we could get Guppy's tail, oh my gosh, we'd be in good shape. So there's a there's a few items that we almost have a combo started with. We just have to get the other part. I say Guppy's tail, flat penny, um, uh, with the uh, lucky foot. Um, so we got pride here, normal pride. They're not super pride. Super pride was an absolute dick. Who I don't even want to talk about. No longer deserves mentioning. Kill regular pride here though. And we'll get this, which is Temperance. 
flood bank, which we don't need to do anything with. Do we want to explore the whole floor? I don't think we do. I'm going to argue that we don't. Well, it's early on. Probably we'll be taking the same damage for the whole time. And the catacombs. Uh, we'll just continue on. We'll see what happens. Right, so we're going to get uh, our third cube of mead and in as many floors or runs. Still have yet to complete a cube of meat into anything past level one, which is annoying. Kind of wish that we could get more. I would love to be able to. Jesus. So. Hope he'll, hopefully he'll start killing his own guys. We really need to get him out of this, uh, or off his high horse, as it were. There we go. Let's make this a lot easier to deal with. Probably should use strength for this fight. Because I'll probably find more pages anyways. Or more uh, tarot cards later anyways. Alright, see. So. Oh, so we can still shoot bombs. I wasn't aware. But he does only spawn flies now and not those asshole silkworms. So. He's got a little moat, which we can't cross right now. Let's continue to fight him here. He should be dead fairly quickly. And that Book of Revelations is charged, we get a cube of meat. Oh, that's what, uh, with Book of Revelations, when you use it, it forces you to fight a Horseman of the Apocalypse, if it's possible. Jesus, this floor, or this room layout. So, we'll probably be fighting a lot of Horsemen here, which is fine. I just want to finish this guy off so I don't have anything in the middle I have to worry about. Okay, we got him. I have to use our ghost baby here. Oh, almost took damage there. Should be one more hit. Take six ghost baby shots. That's preposterous. Wow. This guy's pretty mean. Jesus. Can <laughs> ghost baby not must not actually deal any damage. Alright, so we'll check out the item room first. Mom's pad. Garbage. Bad mom's bra. Just not good at all. And we will continue onwards. Oh. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Excuse the brief interruption. I am in the middle of uh, uploading some of my videos to YouTube right now, so you got to see part of that. So, holy DD, Batman. Blow up everything here. It'll be a little bit complicated. I mean, we should be okay. We just have to watch out for any tears that the fire shoot at us. So, go ahead and head in a different direction now. Really, only interested in finding the shop and getting out of here, because uh, keeping uh, keeping as many spirit hearts as we can as we go along is the most important thing right now. Okay, we are in a really bad position because if it shoots at us, we are forced to take damage. We can't dodge at all. Okay, so we have a little bit of... we found one corner in which to move around in. Hopefully we can kill some more of these. Man, some of these some of these floor layouts are just douchebags. Okay, so just one more. I said one more. Please. Don't make me get close to you. You dick. Oh, and we almost dodged right into it. These things have weird movement speed, so now we, uh, have movement. I'll be fighting a fistula, which there was no way to dodge that. At least not one that I could see. At all. So we'll get another penny here and keep on keeping on. Wall sack flies. That's what they look like. <laughs> They're called baddies, I think. Another key. I guess we found the shop here. Took another bit of damage. Really coming off the rails at the end here. We really need to get in let's have it. Or some damage. Or some actual health. Or a battery. Or a lot of things. We knew that was going to happen, so hopefully Greed won't be on the next floor. Although I'm never sure at this point. Because last time I fought... Not last time I fought Greed, but... I fought in three Greeds on one floor. 
or uh, not on one full in one run, two supers and a regular. So I don't even know what the rules are at this point. I don't want to go to the arcade. Oh, didn't mean to piss that guy off actually. So we can just leave and come back, and the file be gone. We'll break the next one and leave and come back. Just circle around the side here. Because I have no interest in getting involved. Alright, so we will be fighting the Queen of Carrion here. Who is just basically a giant bitch. She has this poop that comes back that if you touch it, you hurt yourself. So, if she keeps moving this slowly though. Oh god, she found out I was behind her. We can keep hitting her in the back, hopefully. Yeah, when she gets to about a fourth health, she starts moving really weird. Bouncing around the room, as it were. I don't think she makes any more poop in this form. So... Should be able to... Finish her off here now. Yeah, hit her to the go. And we did finally get our first HP. Up. Oh. So we have Brimstone or... Flight? Don't really want either of those. Let's put his head down to the next floor, I guess. That's part... Okay, so... We've got the secret room right above us. So we'll immediately go in there. Find just a bunch of <laughs> money. Oh my gosh, Guffy's tail would be OP right now. So... Kill that, and then move along. We get the sun, which will... Show us where everything is. I don't think we'll use that yet. Oh my god, more money, really? More money, more keys. Jesus. It's just projectiles everywhere. We have the shop here, so... Maybe. Maybe we'll be able to get a good item. Another golden key. Doesn't do anything. I cannot believe how many keys I have right now. I'm gonna have even more. So, no greed? Alright, so we got a mom's coin first, which gives us more trinket room. We'll grab this. Uh, don't really need it. And we'll grab another bomb. Unfortunately, not what we were looking for. But if we could find like a cancer or something, we'd be in really good shape. I would love to, uh, get a hold of one of those uh, fortune teller machines. Just dump a bunch of money into it, get some keys. Or not some keys, uh, get some uh, some tarot cards, get some trinkets, some spirit hearts. Because those things are really quite good on uh, Kane. And we'll finish you off and move along here. Uh, not worth it, sounds probably better than whatever it's going to give me. We'll be saving that for the next floor. Jesus. Alright, Book of Revelations. And we might be... Asking ye shall receive. Let's do this. Tick, don't want it. Might have to get it, actually. Hmm. So we got the tick, unfortunately, but we don't really need flat penny anymore at all. Okay, so we got strength. Prefer the sun. So we'll keep that. Keep hope oh, for cancer. Safety cap, don't need that. Another spirit heart. Child's heart right now. So we will keep the liberty cap, I think. Strength, we want the sun. We do want the liberty cap. So, we got the tick and the liberty cap. We got quite a few spirit hearts, so that's impossible to complain about. And by impossible, I mean I just don't want to. I'm sure I could find it in my heart to complain about it. I'm just that good, goddammit. Finish these off for as far as possible. And uh, check out what's on our left here. Nothing that we're interested in. Now. So the tick's actually not a great trinket for us to have. I mean, it'll help us with some bosses. 
But all in all, I could leave it. We will probably be fighting another Horseman of the Apocalypse on this floor. Um, and we found him. So we haven't seen the item room yet, so we are actually going to go looking for that. Don't want to pass up any opportunities to get some good items here. Liberty Cap's not bad. Want cancer. Really want cancer. Such a good trinket. So a rate of fire isn't terrible right now, but if we had cancer it would be amazing. Okay, so... Blow up some of their stuff. Ah, oh, that is gonna hit me. But it's only half a heart because I have a wafer. Yeah, I think Kane's probably my favorite character just because of how badly he abuses both uh, pills and the uh... oh. All right. so I uh, abuses both pills and the um... those fortune tellers. Oh god, I took damage. It's not good. Go away, spider. I wish I did damage to you. So yeah, a halo would be nice. You know, all stats up. Nuns have it. Don't think we can get it in here. Uh, mini mush or speed and range? I could use some speed. Why not? And we will head immediately onto the boss area. Okay. So I think the womb's going to be a little challenging for us. We should be okay just off of the, the wafer. Uh, we won't take as much damage as we normally would. But man, would love to see that nuns, nuns habit. Can't tell you how much I would love to see that nuns habit. And let's find out what boss we're, fight we're fighting. So it's just Necropolis, hopefully it's not... Okay. Oh yeah, it is war. So hopefully it's not the bloat. But it's war. Drop some bombs. So if we can just keep him dropping bombs, we'll be okay. Oh. Come on, buddy. Where are you going? I'm not sure what's happening. Okay. Oh, weird. Okay, no, he's not. I so say he's just steadily drifting to the right. <laughs> Guys, I think War's drunk. Oh, wow. Perfect shot. Is he bashful or tired or I don't even know what he's doing. It's like he's fighting his hands all sad. I don't know, but we will get our meat boy. He will meet, so get our second familiar here. And we'll come in here and get Is it worth it to get the nail over the Book of Revelations? No, it's not, because we are trying to build a uh what is it? Another uh, third level meat boy. So this is one of the few times that... What's over here? I'll just left once. So we found a library. That's cool. We'll go ahead and go in there even though nothing could possibly be worth or better than what we have right now. As far as space rodum goes. Don't use it. So Book of Sin. We'll go ahead and just pop out a heart, which we're not going to use. Get Monster Manuel out of the uh, item roll. And we'll move along. Get a bomb here. Find out what's, uh, what's in the secret room. Alright, money, of course. And we are still holding on to the sun. Uh, these guys are assholes. I don't like this room layout. I need to get them all together so I can just dodge there. Just get them into a ball of douchebaggery and avoid them that way. Yeah, so just keep fighting the horseman would be good, so we can get a third level meat boy. Which would allow us to uh, unlock an achievement, I think. The band-aid needs to be unlocked via building a full meat boy. It's not a fourth level, I think just need a third level one. But thank god we have these familiars, because we are not hitting for any more damage than normal, I don't think. Or did we get a meat? No, that was in the last round where we got the meat. Alright. Let's fight these dudes. Don't need that penny. We'll check out the shop. Super Greed! Oh, you're a whore. A dirty, dirty whore. Your mama never loved you. Because you slept with too many women. Men. I don't know what sex it is. Probably would do either. It's greedy. 
Luckily we got our little armada of protection here. Circle of protection asshole. Okay, so that was unfortunate. I think there's... Is there any shops left in the game? That might have been our last shop, which means that that was our last chance for the nuns habit. So, I has a sad. Got death. Death is good. Here, let's use... Let's use the sun and hold on to death. So we know which way to go now. I think death deals damage, the devil increases how much damage you do. So death is going to be really useful on the mom fight, considering we start off already with tick damage. So... be a dick. hate zombies. Knights. That's what they're called, actually. They're called knights. But they're not chivalrous, and they aren't even dark. So we actually ran our meat boy into him, which was... Unintentionally awesome. Okay. And one to go. Get out of the way. Ah! Keep trying to scratch my head in the middle of these fights. Ask me how well it's working. Ah, <laughs> so we'll double our keys. And have, uh, I think the technical term is way too many keys. Some Larry Juniors here. They actually spit at us, so they have a ranged attack. That's kind of interesting. So we'll try to finish them off before they're able to do any damage. And Book of Rev's gonna charge after this, so there we go, Book of Revelations. And we have the, uh... This is Mom. Money. Spelunker's helmet. Wasn't I just talking about how I hate to get this item late? I think I was last video. Well, we'll be able to find one double secret room. The fork. If it's right below this room, I'd be happy. Nope, okay. So, I think it's worth it to find, though. Just because it could have extra health in it. You know, something. So, we'll just continue to fight our way through this. Would love to get a different uh, something besides the Liberty Cap. I mean, it's okay, but... It's not really doing it for me. And where the hell is the second secret room? Is it in the arcade? No. Is it in here? No. Did we just take a full heart of damage? Oh! No, okay, we got... Okay, I know what happened. Where the hell is it? Is it in the library? Oh, there it is. It's to our left. I don't know why we didn't check here first. That was silly of me. And by silly, I mean not very smart. So... Two spirit hearts. Okay, well, that makes up for it. And we'll go on and fight Mom. We've got one room and then we'll fight Mom. So that's what'll happen. And if I got a, a Joker card, I could get that and then fight my way into the boss room down there. That Temperance, we could probably do it too, actually. That'd be worth it. If I could get a Temperance card. Oh, took damage there. That was stupid. This is Temperance. I'm going to laugh really hard. Wheel of Fortune, damn. Well, got the right Wheel of Fortune in any case. Hard to argue with that. Spirit Hearts. Come on, Cancer. Red Patch, not bad. Actually, might be better than Liberty Cap. Uh, temperance, cool. So, we'll finish up this way. I don't want to get too crazy too quickly. So this pill is health up. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and the IV bag. Okay, well that's fine. So, with one heart, we can come through here, uh, go to the boss mob trap room, get a range up. Not really worth it, but we'll do it anyways, because I don't think Chubb's going to be super difficult for us to beat. Considering every boss we fight in here is going to come in with less health. So, that's awesome. Ah! And I 
totally lost track of myself. I thought I got inside of him somehow. So I'll just finish off these little silkworms here and find out who our second boss is. Hopefully, like Larry Jr. or something. Oh, peep. Could have asked for somebody easier, but. Well. Beggars can't be choosers, and I'm not actually begging so much right now. Almost got his other eye going. Other eye's out. He's got a third of his health left. Let's finish him off here real quick. Ah, nope, one more jump in him. Okay. That wasn't it. Yeah, we are able to get out of here taking almost no damage. We'll head around, pick up extra health containers. Sure, I don't really need this key. And we'll get the rest out of uh, Grid's room. And so that worked out pretty well for us. Got a range upgrade, didn't cost us anything. Got a health up as well. Yeah, could have asked for a lot worse. Or could have had a lot worse, couldn't have asked for much better. And by that I mean I could have asked for a lot better, but let's not get crazy here. So 31 minutes in, going to fight Mom. Uh, we got the death card, so we'll bust that out as soon as we see her stupid face. Um, and we will keep... No, we won't. We'll trade out the red patch, so when we take damage, we deal more damage. There's my mom here. Right, Necronomicon has appeared in the basement. And we did... Holy crap, like, almost all of her health. That's a wicked combo. Gonna fight over here until the foot comes down. We're gonna go ahead and try to hit the foot a few times. Oh, and then we, when we run into her, she does take damage from us, so... Red Patch could be kinda cool. Or it's definitely kinda cool. I can't believe we were able to evade by standing. And we are only taking, uh, you know, half a heart of damage from her. Because of the wafer. Should almost be dead. And that's going to be it. So get Pageant Boy because we don't have enough money already. And, and a useful item off of her would have been too much to ask for. Oh, but we do get the small rock, so I'll stop complaining. And we'll go down to the next floor and then use, uh... Go down to the next floor and use our Book of Revelations. Because now we should be fighting death, maybe? I don't know the Horseman of the Apocalypse is what we'll be fighting. Is the rock a tears upgrade too? I think it might be. Let's go up here. We already knew the secret room was here. I didn't forget anything in the super secret room, did I? Did I even go to the super secret Oh, I did. What was in there? I totally forget. I got nothing. It's a good thing I pay so much attention to this game. Alright. So, bomb here. We will check out what's in the secret room. Um, if it is another fortune teller, I would play the crap with well, three cents. In case we're about to run out, so it's a good thing we got that. Uh, just finish off this fellow right here. Hopefully it's not taking too much damage. Head on to the next. Oh, and we did find uh, the boss right away, so this should be death, I think. Yep, death. Okay. So we'll just try to kill death as quickly as possible. He's got these little boomerangs he can shoot out at us. But we can blow them up. And he can actually slow us down too, which is kind of crazy. Not sure what witchcraft is this? But... And then he splits off from his horse, and then it hits us. But he also creates these uh, zombies, so we want to kill him as quickly as possible. However, he will kill his own. Okay, so and we finished off death in a rather ugly fight, but then again. It's kind, of, it's kind of the build we've got going on now. We've got Red Patch for extra damage when we get hit. We've got Poison Touch, so when we get hit, they get poisoned. And we'll finish off our cube meat, and we get Super Meat Boy! Yay! Isn't he cute? Um, what was I saying? I said we got refundable health via Book of Revelations. Where do we want to go? We'll go down first. We'll kill that thing. And, uh, yeah, so we've got a pretty decent... We had Cuba Meat, now we just have him as a Meat Boy. So, it was run around to gnaw on guys for us. It's pretty cool. Yeah, why not? I mean, we probably might as well get 78 cents. I mean, if we run out, 
That'd be bad news. Uh, yeah, we got five bombs. We'll find out what's in here. Maybe a spirit heart. Maybe another bomb. Maybe another scent. So, technically a gain. Although, at this point, it really doesn't fucking matter. Come on, meat boy. Go ahead and chew on some dudes. I'm taking a bunch of unnecessary damage. Which is bad, because... Meat boy, go get him. I'll just chill over here. I have full faith in your abilities. Although, should I? There we go. Alright, Book of Revelations charge. So we'll use that. We unfortunately did not find the boss, but hey, me boy. Good. Found bombs. And we'll uh, head to the. Uh... Where do we want to go? Let's go upper left. I'm feeling crazy. That's a. I think that's a good pill of some kind. So we will sidestep in here. Out, and then step on that immediately. So we actually don't know what this does. Range up. Cool. So, cost half a spirit heart for a range up pill, and this is also a pill that we should pick up. Pretty fly. So, we'll get our full armada back since we lost Meat Boy. And, well, a bunch of easy rooms here. Some more bombs. And we found the second secret room. Although, we did end up going the wrong way, but it was a good, you know, wrong way. We got a little bit more protection. We got some decent pills. We're gonna blow this stuff up for some way to get cancer in here. Not what we need at all, but that's okay. So with all but one options eliminated, you can guess where we're going. All right. Okay, so we're gonna we have to eliminate this right side real quick. Finish off all these guys so we can stand him in the corner and make him kill himself on that. Okay, good. There we go. And another spirit heart. So we're doing really good. Um, I think the uh, wafer, as much as I didn't think it would be an issue, um, we haven't taken too much damage on the utero or... Right as I say that, I just need to stop talking. Alright, so we'll go ahead and finish these, this brain off, get the guts. Uh, another key, so we're up to 33, which is good. I was worried we are getting too small. Ah! Okay, so, a stupid amount of damage here. Good. Probably could have done that a little bit better, but I wasn't... I was a little flustered, wasn't quite sure what I was supposed to do there. Another pill. Telepills. Sure. We'll, like, we'll hold on to them. Uh, not the right way. Although we did find... A... That's right, we did find a library. So we got to kill all these cysts. Come on, meat boy. Chow down. So now you can eat buffet. <laughs> Telepathy for dummies. That item is really quite terrible. Like they may I swear they made to some spacebar items just garbage on purpose. They probably did. But it's like that is one of the ones that's really apparent that it's just like, who would, who would use this? Alright, so we are on uh, It Lives, which is a harder version of Mom's Heart. So, alright. Go ahead and plant bombs. It summons like bosses and stuff, I think is what makes it more difficult. So go ahead and, yeah, so we have to fight a special version of Monstro here. Um, Meat Boy, you wanna. I guess we did kill that one already. And we're using all of our bombs in here. That's right. Chow down, buddy! You can do it. Finish this bitch ass. So, bomb in there. Since we get her into uh, her firing nothing but... Uh, what's it called? State. Bomb state will be in good shape. Uh, the tick is really good against mom because I'm pretty sure it weakens all of the enemies she spawns. So, all right, so she is in her permanent bombing state, which is good. We can hopefully kill her while completely ignoring. Ah, Lechevsky tries to take me out. Help, assassins! And so uh, we are able to get this here, and we are going to be able to go down to Shoal. 
So a poop has appeared in the basement. And uh, I've unlocked um, question mark, question mark, question mark, also known as Blue Baby. So we'll go ahead and head down to uh, Shoal. We'll go ahead and activate our telepills right away because I don't like where we are. And uh, got some grease we got to deal with. Just uh, try to avoid my doppelganger's hits, as Meat Boy does. Not so great damage. Come on, buddy, you can do it. So we're going to need to kill these greets by ourselves. If we shoot right to left, he won't be able to hurt us, the guy on the bottom. Hopefully. That's the plan anyways. Can we get the steam sail? Only a little late, I think. We'll finish this guy and chow down. Well, wow. so that took a while. We got death, which will be useful. Uh, we also have a range up, so we'll grab the range up first, and then we'll take death next. Um, death will be able to save us from a seriously hard room, or help us fight Satan, one of the two, depending on what we do with him. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and bomb through here. We'll go all the way through and hope the boss doesn't even do anything, but we'll grab it because we haven't seen it yet. Space bar to use. Yeah. Can't use it on this floor. Basically, it takes you to the next layer down of wherever you are. So, hope for the boss room. Nope. Ah, but that was good. We're able to blow up both bomb flies and the stupid eye thing. We're going to come back left, bomb our way back, and head directly up. I think we're going to run out of health before we're going to be able to get to Satan. But, okay, so we got the Fallen now. <laughs> It's kind of a dick. Did I take damage there? I'm not quite sure how. It appears I've taken damage there. So that's not good. Alright. Finish him off. Finish off this fellow. And uh, Book of Revelations is charged and we'll continue to head up. Well, sure, we'll use some stuff on this. Maybe we'll get some kind of good item out of it. Yeah, sure. HP up, why not? I'll take it, definitely. And we got another round of death here in a really shitty room. Go ahead and blow up all these things in the middle if I can. I'll also get death hit by them, so hopefully I have a little bit better chance of... Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, so we are... We have taken quite a bit of damage here. If we can just finish death off and not fight any of his zombies. As I say that, he summoned some zombies. And we didn't actually finish him. Meat Boy, you ADD. Son of a bitch. Meat Boy, there you go. Find the zombie. He eats the zombie. Good job. Gonna hope we have boss room. And we did go the right way, so. Um. Yeah, we might have a shot. I, I don't know. We got death. Um, we'll use it. Uh, plant a bomb here. That's a really good start to the fight. I'm gonna make him take all of his bomb flies and damage right off the bat. Meat Boy's gonna do, you know, not a whole lot, but he's gonna work on it. We got one more fall in to deal with. Meat Boy's gonna chew. And really just steady, steady, constant damage. I can stay out of here. Oh, unless he gets by Meat Boy. The only bad thing is Meat Boy will occasionally kick, uh... Oh, Meat Boy is, like, up in his head. We did take half a heart there. Yeah, Wafer is... doing some good work. Okay, so we'll just... And, wow! Satan's in third form already. I don't know who's talking so much shit about Meat Boy, but he's amazing. Go ahead and wait for the second foot to come down, and then we'll uh, death it. Not sure if that deals more damage, but he's at really low health. And I'd say that we could probably just poison damage face tank him right now if we wanted to. We're going to play with some degree of skill. And we're going to get another kill on uh, Satan here, and we'll go ahead and step into the chest. So we already know what that ending is. Um... So, uh, thanks uh, for watching, guys. Um, just a fantastic run. Um, 
And uh, as always, if you want to you know, help the channel, go ahead and toss us a like, feed us a comment, and uh, subscribe. I will catch you guys next time.